we didn't know when baseball was going to restart, if it was. And uh, when it was determined that uh, Bud Selig said, uh, you know, we're going to play, I think it was on the Monday following the, the Tuesday. And uh, uh, what we did on Saturday, we had a workout at Yankee Stadium for whoever was still in the area. And there were a number of players and, and coaches and uh, Randy Levine, the president of the Yankees, uh, you know, had several bands and what we were going to do, we were going to the city and, and, you know, stop at the Jacob center, which was the, uh, the staging area. Uh, we did that. And, you know, obviously they're sleeping bags on the floor and, you know, we, we got to see all the people that came from all over the country uh, to, to try to help in, in what was hoped to be a recovery, but, uh, you know, it didn't turn out that way. And then from the Javits Center, uh, we went to St. Vincent's Hospital. And unfortunately, aside from some uh, few firefighters who had issues with smoke inhalation, uh, you know, there was nobody from the building there. And uh, finally, we went over to the armory. Now, this was a sensitive area in my mind, because this is where family members were waiting for um confirmation about their loved ones uh, waiting for DNA results. And, and I, I was a little hesitant about our going in there because I felt it was such a personal time for the families. And I remember Randy Labine went in ahead of us and he was in there a few minutes and then waved us on in. And, and we went into the armory and, you know, there were families and, and groups of people separated by these these uh, like low partitions and, you know, there were clergy and counselors and, and we walked around the perimeter of, of that area in the armory. And I remember one woman sort of, you know, uh, signaled to us to, to come on over. And uh, we walked over there and Bernie Williams, one of our players was, was with us. And he goes up to the woman and he said to her, uh, you know, I don't know what to say, he said, but uh, you look like you need a hug. And with that, Bernie, you know, grabbed her and hugged her. And, and that sort of loosened other people up to come toward us. And it, it was it was surreal because they'd show us pictures of, of their family members who were lost with Yankee paraphernalia on and and, you know, met paraphernalia and baseball people. And, and it was, we spent, I don't know how long there, but it was such an emotional, uh, you know, uh, place to be at that time. 